بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our worship of Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And we ask Allah the, the Almighty to forgive us of our sins and bless us with the blessing, blessings of the holy month of Ramadan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah and nabi. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Fi kitabihi al-kareem Said وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسِ لِلَّ يَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says That I have not created mankind And the jinn Except for the purpose of worshipping me Letting us know that what what's our purpose in life? What's the purpose? Worship. Worship who? Allah. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Tawheed. Tawheedillah. To direct all worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All ibadah to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And ibadah, ayyual ahabba, is... As Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Rahimahullah ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Shaykh al-Islam with Jannah of Ardos for what he left, his sacrifice to the Sunnah sunnat of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Al-ibadatu ism jami' li kulli ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardahu min af'al wal aqwal al zahir wal batin. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, which means, when referring to ibadah, that the worship that we direct to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with from statements and actions that are outward and inward, letting us know that ibadah includes everything in the general sense, everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with. So that we can actualize the purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for by doing those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and avoiding those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dis displeased with. Can you think of something that Allah lo loves. What does Allah love? And when we say love in the in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, maybe Allah will you know use the term Yuhibbullah. So what is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that you can think of from the ayats that you know? Or in general, what does Allah love? Who does Allah love? What is Allah pleased this pleased with? People that love each other, hmm, I'm not sure if that fits exactly the criterion, but we should love each other and, and, and treat each other with respect. But what's something, who is a class of people that Allah loves in the Quran? Huh? In Allah Yuhibbu? Men? Mujrimi. La ilaha illallah. The mujrimin are the criminals. Allah does not. In Allah, la yuhibbu mujrimin, if anything. No. Allah loves what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Allah yuhibbu sabirin. In Allah yuhibbu, as you said, the mu'mineen. Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the believers. So those people who believe in tawheed and practice tawheed, the monotheist, they, they worship Allah alone, so Allah loves them. And he loves the Tawabin, those people who make repentance. 
You know, they make Tawbah, they, they repent to Allah after they did a sin. They did a sin, and then they come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves them. So, for example, if someone does a sin like, what's a sin that you can think of? That's a bad sin that we should avoid. Stealing. Stealing, exactly. So if someone steals something, and then they feel sorrow, they feel sorry for what they did, and they are determined not to go back to that sin, and they leave that sin in that environment, and they return the thing they stole to the person, then inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love them. Why? Because they did completed the actions of Tawbah. They repented to Allah with sincerity. They were sincere. Also, if someone is disobedient to their parents, Aquq Walidain, that if someone doesn't listen, for example, to their mother or their father, or if they curse their mother or their father, or they even hit, some people hit and attack and harm their mother and their father. billah. That's one of the major sins. That's a big sin. So, Allah loves the one who after they do that, they come back to Allah. They repent. They apologize to their mother or father. They go back to obedience and they resolve themselves to never do that sin again. They turn away from that sin. And they're determined and they're sincere to Allah. Allah loves those people. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who return to obedience to Him and leave off the disobedience to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah bless us to be of those who worship Him and Him alone. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.